Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday morning, February 11th. It's just about 6 a.m. I'm gonna skip the coffee pot today. We're gonna stop at Wawa. And it's time to head down to Toy Trains and Collectibles to pick up something that just finally came in on pre-order and hopefully see some of you. So let's hit the road, get down there. And it's about a three hour trip, so see you around nine. So I am down here just outside of Manassas. We are going to, this is a little bit of a different hobby shop hop. So, well wait, can't be hobby shop hop if we don't play the music. Cue the music. So we are on our way to Toy Trains and Collectibles Manassas, Virginia. This is kind of piggybacking off. There's two videos that are associated with the same trip, but we're gonna go to the hobby shop today and hang out for a while and pick something up. And then we'll get home and hopefully be able to open it up and run it if we have time. So let's get this going. Well, I don't have any of the what I would send. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to rate it off on somebody else's work.
All right, everybody, so we're back at the layout in the basement, and there's a couple things that I picked up from Toy Trains and Collectibles today, so I wanted to show that to you so we can get a full circle of the whole day. It was a long day. It was about a three-hour drive back. It's almost 4 o'clock now. I'm exhausted. But let's go through a couple of things that I was able to pick up while I was there. First thing I grabbed was one of these Lionel Railers, and I've always wanted one of these since I visited my buddy Harry Henning uh, and the layout that he has, the old train farm. He has one of these and we were throwing hoppers on the layout and having this just made like so much easier. So I'm glad I picked up one of those. Next thing I picked up is an RMT tank car. This is $29, $29.95 for this. So under 30 bucks to get this a really nice steam era tank car. So I got a Texaco one, really neat. They've got the the Tidewater ones, that's kind of like the Strasburg Tidewater car. Now I have the Atlas version of that, so I decided to go with something a little bit different if I'm pulling a small coal train, or excuse me, a small steam era freight consist, I can now put this on there. And can't go wrong for $29. So we snagged that also. Then I saw my buddy Travis ended up being down at Toy Trains Collectibles too. Travis owns the Vision uh, Jivo that I have on the layout right now, the Canadian Pacific one that I have on loan. He saw that they had these, the sensor tracks. Now these are the sensor track add-ons that are not in the fast track. These are the ones that can go into guardrails. So I picked up that and some wire so that I'm gonna be able to run one of these sensor tracks into my station platform. So it'll trigger station sounds announcements and diner cars. I can use it for programming and get rid of my programming track under the layout. So I was able to grab these as well. Now the big one, I can't, we can't do it here, we're gonna have to move, so right, bear with me. Excuse the mess behind me here. So I also finally picked up this, and you saw me open this already when we were down at the shop. So this is the Rockets booster set. Ooh, and this thing is an absolute monster. This box is like 24 pounds or something. It's humongous. It was very difficult for me to get this thing in the house by myself. But we're gonna quickly go ahead and open it up and get on the layout so we can see this thing run for the first time here at Chris's Trains and Things. Let's check it out.
right, so, so awesome set altogether. You'll notice in that that there's no buffer car between the passenger car and the last rocket booster car. That is because the truck came and it was not attached and there's no nut to attach this. So I, I took the, took a kind of, a, tried to open it up here to get it back in place, but no luck. So I'm gonna have to figure out a nut to go on the screw. And we'll I go from there. I ended up finding the, the nut for this. It was in the box. I just had to go back and find it. So we'll get this back on. It's, you know, it's a bummer that it fell off. Um, screw just probably wasn't totally set in. And when it was put in the box and you know, this happens from time to time, um, but it's an easy fix. So we'll get this put back in and get it on the train for the next video. But thank you. Well, uh, five minutes later, we're back and running. So I filmed that video before dinner. Uh, so we will do another video of this set in a couple weeks. I plan on doing a special exclusive video for trains.com where I write articles and do all sorts of fun stuff with them and get some things into Classic Toy Trains magazine. But this set is huge, you know, just for just for context. From that wall to that wall is 36 feet. And this is going almost to that curve all the way down. So you can imagine if you had the two add-on packs that doubles the length from that to there, which is pretty awesome. And here's a fun fact. These things are great. These these are just the, basically ensure that the tunnels and uh, everything else along the track is wide enough to fit these. This indicated that my tunnel is too narrow in a certain spot for those cars. So I have to do some trimming of some of the supports under the, the upper loop, but that won't be a problem. We'll take care of that. But Pretty neat that that was actually, uh, I needed that in a prototypical way today. So really awesome set from Lionel. These things are really neat. You can see they've got the chains on them here. And then these come off. There we go. So they come off like that. And you've got the different parts of the rocket. There. Pretty neat. So these are hinged. So they can fit around the rocket and then back together and fit right in there. Pretty awesome. So we'll probably do a video later where we actually assemble the rocket. I will tell you, I'm certainly glad that I bought the railer today because putting these articulated flat cars on was a pain in the rear. So definitely helped to have the railer for that. So I'm glad I picked that up. So this set's awesome. So glad that I've added it to my collection. We'll do some more videos on it later. All right, guys, so that's that on the rocket set. Pretty, it's pretty awesome. So we've got all up and running now. It's great. I gotta do some widening of my tunnel, which won't take me long, but we'll have this thing. So it's gonna be on the layout for a while before I take it off. Not just because it's so many cars and I don't think I can fit it on my wall, but because it is just super neat. I've been waiting for this thing for a long time and love this UPES 44. It's super cool. So thanks for watching, guys. Take care.